What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know who it is, but if you don't, it's good vibe, Ray Valentine. You the board up to the black market. This is hood money investing. And to all those hedgies and shorts out there, I think I speak for all of apes out there when I say, you got that why everybody starved. It's all turn. I wanted to show y'all what's going on in one of the portfolios because we're running. Looks like we might get to 20 because AMC looks as if it's constantly consolidating, <laughs> reaching higher highs. <laughs> you know, there's higher lows and we're reaching higher highs and it's looking real good. I said it last week. It looks like we could reach 20 to 25 bucks this week coming up here that we're in. It's Wednesday. We still have two days left. It looks like we could hit $20 before the day is out because we already hit 1954, as you can see. Uh, AMC looking good. GameStop looking good. Uh, let's go back. Excuse me. Sorry about that. GameStop is looking good. And from what it looks like, it looks like we could reach 300 with GameStop today. I wouldn't be mad with like 270. I'll say about 270, 265. That's where it looks like it's going to me. You know, it looks like the RSI keep cooling down and then <laughs> they keep on ripping up. So that's the only thing that I'm excited about right now. And to all those GameStop investors that got caught up in that squeeze when it came down well that buying pressure when it came down and the uh, market was halted because it probably i did have a, a investor say that it squeezed and i will agree because i say we didn't i'll say this i i it seemed as if we were squeezing but with that hope we didn't even touch it. We didn't need, if we now if we put our finger on it, it was quickly smacked away. You know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, we truly didn't get the squeeze, you know, but I will acknowledge that investor out there saying it because we did get a halt. And that's another thing I wanted to say to you, beginner investors and traders out there. Do not get AMC's movement confused with buying pressure because you're going to have a lot of people jumping in. As you can see, we already reached 200 million in volume. So, you know, with that and with uh, the and, and, and then we don't even know how many Synthetics are out there. June 2nd, I guess that's when we're going to have some type of, uh, you know, something to go off of. But that's still, in my opinion, it might be some BS. You know, now we're going to get some good news, but you got to remember, we are not going to really see that squeeze until those shorts start to cover. Once those shorts start to cover, then we gonna start getting a whole lot of action. You know what I mean? That's when that, you know it's gonna be like getting the bubble guts. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a lot of spillage. So that's what's gonna cause that 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 price to start really kicking up on top of those extra, you know, uh, uh, those those retailers jumping in, jumping in, and then you'll know by the halts and the freezes. You will know that's when the short squeeze will happen, you know, because it, it'll be these large price jumps. You know what I'm saying? And that's just from what I've experienced with uh, GameStop, Tesla. Uh, uh, Zoom. I've only seen, you know, maybe four or five companies just like shoot up out of nowhere, you know, but uh, GameStop and uh, Tesla was the ones that I just, it was unbelievable. It was like one morning Tesla was like 200 and something dollars and then the next day it was like 900, you know, uh, so uh, we can expect just this large move and then a couple halts freezes and that's how you'll know in some way, shape or form my own, from my own little opinion, my little, uh, my little experience. So just remember that to all those beginner investors and traders out there, man, it's looking real good, man. I don't know what else to say now with all that hundred K talk. I, like I said, it would be lovely for it to go to 100K. I could just show you one portfolio at the moment. Uh, I have, uh, I think, three contracts of AMC at the moment. We're at 910 in this portfolio. I have uh, 400 shares of AMC. As you can see, I have an average cost of $9, which is, you know, because I continued to buy in because I started buying most of my shares at about five bucks, five, six bucks. Um, but, you know, since I am a part of the movement, I still can, I just bought more shares of AMC today. 
You see what I'm saying? So all those people jumping in my comment box, talk about a Michelle and all this. Listen, man, I understand that, you know, uh, right now with everything going on, the fundamentals do play. Because I, I keep hearing people say the fundamentals do not play into a squeeze. Yes, it does into to a certain degree, because depending on if you have a reconfiguration or redirection in the company that can cause more people to buy in. And with buying in, that is a part of the, you know, buying pressure, which is the which will show on the charts, which is a part of the technical part that will help it move. And this is just my own way of explaining it, like I said. And you guys, yes, technicals are very, very important. I'm just saying that they can be manipulated. So you have to not just, you know, have an understanding of technicals. You have to have an understanding of psychology when it comes to the market. So all those people out there that keep on saying that fundamentals do not have a part to play in a squeeze, well, it does in these cases. And this black swan event that we're having with GameStop and AMC and with them being shorted the way that they are, yes, the, the fundamentals for these two companies are playing a part. They are because we are we we're we're jumping in based on the 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 uh the future of AMC, the potential with the movies and everything else. And then, you know, the same thing with GameStop, everything that's been changed and redirected in that company with Ryan Cohen and how he's spearheading that company. So, yes, the fundamentals are playing a part in the these squeezes, these particular squeezes. They are on top of, you know, people jumping in, which which these guys are talking about, you know, the technical, the the more so the technical, because it's yes, it's more technicals that play into the the squeeze, you know, and 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 it was just a, a rare event for people to figure out that, you know, these companies, AMC and GameStop, were being shorted the way that they are. And being as though that these uh these shorts, these hedge funds, they have to pay those uh those prices back for lending, be, being lended, you know, those shares, that is the reason why we have these this squeeze on top of all the shares that they've sorted. And that's just the way that I'm explaining it. Please go, yes, learn the technicals. I'm doing my best to learn them because I don't want somebody to get over on me with the language. So I would definitely, like I would tell, I would urge you, yes, learn the technicals. But I'm saying don't get caught up in them with this 100K squeeze and all that because it's an easy way for YouTube content creators to use that against you to keep you caught up in you know this 100k thing which like i said is just i would love for it to happen with all the shares of amc that i got you could just take 300 million right now i mean 300 shares right now and if it went to 100k i'll be i have 30 million 30 million you know 40 million in this portfolio if that happened to take place and i would love to be running around with 40 million but you know i'm just saying well they allowed the rabbit to get the gun so you guys tell me what you think about that 100k floor uh i think you know maybe 2k is more realistic you know but i'm going to keep on saying i don't know it's just astronomical you know as far as the numbers and how they shorted these companies with all these fake shares and synthetics and everything else so we just don't know it's you know it's just impossible to know at this moment we'll see when it gets there but you will know when the something is taking place because of the halts and the freezes you know so that's all i wanted to say uh to all those uh beginner investors and traders out there man please keep doing your due diligence please keep doing your homework and um don't just hear every listen to everything you hear on youtube man please you know what i'm saying do your homework and um we're gonna keep on teaching each other Keep on learning, keep on growing, keep on building. And as you can see, GameStop and AMC are moving identical. Oh, man, this is this is lovely. <laughs> okay, we reloaded. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. And you're part of it. 
Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put y'all in the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>